September. CNN's Kate Baldwin joins us from Pittsburgh with more. Kate? John, you could call them the post-religious right or the next evangelicals, but these young voters are anything but easy to define. We found the light of the world, we found the hope of the planet, and it burns much brighter than McCain or Obama or America. Amen. Shane Claiborne is the perfect example of what both Republicans and Democrats are fighting for. We caught up with Claiborne, a Christian activist and author, on his book tour in Pittsburgh. The title says it all, Jesus for President. Over and over we're hearing things like, I knew there was more to Christianity than what I saw on TV, than televangelists and patriotic pastors and cover-up bishops. He represents a new movement of young evangelical voters. They care about traditional issues like abortion and gay marriage but say their agenda is far broader. Poverty, social justice, and the environment are moving to the forefront. It's getting harder and harder to find good grease. Claiborne's tour bus even runs on veggie oil. <laughs> and it's cheap. In 2004, about three quarters of evangelical voters supported George Bush. A solid voting bloc, political analysts say, may not be such a lock this year because of these young evangelicals. The impact is likely to be that they will dilute the uh, evangelical support for the Republican Party, and the evangelical vote will be more up for grabs than it has in many years. I'm very undecided. I feel very like there's certain issues where I identify more with the Republicans and others who identify more with the Democrats. I grew up in a very Republican family, but my growth in my faith has kind of moved me in a different direction. Back on tour, Shane Claiborne says it's more about how you live your life November 3rd and 5th than how you vote on November 4th, Election Day. What a lot of us are, are doing is, is trying to learn from the mistakes of the generation that's gone before us. This is not about um, going left or right, but going deeper. Claiborne says people ask him not only for spiritual guidance, but also political advice, who they should vote for. But he's adamant. He's not endorsing any candidate. John? Kate Baldwin with that story for us from Pittsburgh this morning. Thanks, Kate. And here's a closer look at the evangelical vote in an AM Extra. According to exit polls from 2004, of the people who said they were evangelical or born again, 78% voted for President Bush, 21% for John Kerry. In 2000, the question was worded a little bit differently. Voters were asked if they considered themselves to be part of the religious right. Of those who said yes, 80% voted for Bush, 18% for Al Gore.